President Biden traveling to Chicago not to address the city's alarming crime and drug crisis, but instead to attend a big Democrat fundraiser. The cheapest ticket for the event, running $25,000. The top Whoa. ticket package going for... 365 shkadols, as <laughs> Jimmy Fallon likes to say. He is the host of Fox Across America, Fox's radio on Fox Nation, and he joins us now. Hey, Jimmy, hey. great to see you as always. Of course. Can Joe Biden not see the bad optics of all this, or is that another cognitive skill that may be on the decline? Yeah, they're all lacking, and I want to be clear, I didn't go to the dinner. I sold my tickets on StubHub. Sure. Mm. Uh, not for 365. You were Who invited? knew? Who to stop it? Uh, it's such bad, it's such a bad look, given what's going on in Chicago, like in terms of crime and poverty and everything in between. Joe Biden is basically showing up to the Titanic in terms of situ living situations, and he's raising money for himself while people are diving onto boats. It's bad. So, yes, optically, it's bad. But then he gave his big speech about farms and wheat. The only thing Biden should be speaking about is weed, because the only way you're voting Democrat in the midterms is if you're really high. Oh, boy. Really high. You know, Jimmy, though, look at the crime numbers. Mm -hmm. Crime is surging across Chicago. Um, robberies are up 17 percent. Burglaries up 35 percent. Thefts are up a stunning 67 percent. It's Democrat policies that led to this. So who in the right mind is spending $365,000 on a ticket? Yeah, I, listen. On a DNC ticket. Uh, somebody who was using Venmo or a credit card, because you ain't carrying that kind of cash around Chicago right That's now. It's sad, man. Sad My wife and I love Chicago. We've been there. You know, they used to have these beautiful walking tours of the architecture. They still have them now. They're called running tours because you're getting chased. It's bad. And he's an idiot for doing this. But he's a guy who has the worst political instincts I've ever seen. So I'm not surprised. And this has been known for a time even before the 2020 election. But there you go. Uh, meantime, pro-choice protesters camping out at the yeah. House of Speaker, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. They're saying she's done nothing to protect abortion law. Watch. We are here because the Democratic Party and the Democrats as a whole have been complicit in this whole thing. 35 years of your reign of terror. You had a supermajority under Obama under which this should have been your top priority. Don't you just love the irony of all yeah. this? Nancy Pelosi is like, mobilize, and they do, and it's like in front of her house. What do you make <laughs> like of this Democratic irony infighting? Oh, no. Take an I word. It's like I should have been more specific. Right. I mean, first of all, the joke's on them, because with the market down the way it is, she's not looking out the window. She's buying the dip. Right. She's on the phone buying stocks right now. Right, right, right. I'm really torn on this whole thing, because I'm obviously dead set against protesting outside of anyone's house, including the justices. But at the same time, if you're watching the videos, a lot of these people really need the exercise. So I don't want to be the guy that gets in the way from them walking and getting in a few extra steps sure. on the Fitbit. Mm. But the fact that this is coming back to explode on them is my favorite thing in the world. Well, listen, um, Democrats say abortion is a winning issue for them. And while 69% of people say they are concerned about it, we don't know if those people are pro-choice or pro-life, but the economy, man, 87% say that that is their top concern um, in the midterm elections. James Carville said it best. It's the economy, stupid. Oh, no two ways about it. I mean, in to the Democrats, I hate to break their heart, but you can't get to the abortion clinic if you can't afford a gallon of gas. I know that's an oversimplification of a really profound situation, but really think about that. There are more people right now struggling with the reality of feeding a family than the reality of trying to avoid starting one. Yeah, that's and that's right. why and they're the baby losing the formula room. thing, too. It's, it's absurd, so dude. This is crazy. I mean, and it's a different era. It's not like when I was a kid and your parents could just give you whiskey and shut you up. You get arrested for that now. Remember yeah. that? Yes. Rubbing the whiskey on the gums now? Oh. Not in any of the parents' My mom and my grandma would be taking a perp walk on the news <laughs> every night. Would you ever do that with your children? Heck no. Oh. No, I'm scared. He says that. Scared of the pope. In public. Jimmy? The best. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Jimmy. You Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.